is a real nowhere man sitting in his nowhere land making all his nowhere plans for no money. Hey everybody, it's Don Commander here. I got a good question for you. It's like you hear these atheists talk about evolution, the Big Bang Theory, and all the science shit. That statement right there shows just how much you know about science. Um, I want you to explain this very simple question to me, and to all of us. Um, if the Big Bang Theory is true, and like at one time there was a massive piece of whatever, rock. Uh, singularity, not rock. Singularity. Whatever. Rock. And it exploded, creating all the galaxies. The galaxies! The Big Bang Theory, right? That's what happened? All the planets and as far as, the, you know, our, our, our telescopes can see, thousands of light years away. Uh, it was all created from the Big Bang Theory. Uh, singularity. Uh, but wait a minute. How come, if that's true, how come, like, Every planet I've ever seen, including Earth, is round. That would be gravity. If something exploded, like if you put a stick of dynamite inside a bowling ball and exploded it, um, I'd bet my life on it that you wouldn't find one perfectly round piece. So explain to me, come on, explain to me, why are all the planets round? Didn't I just say gravity? Gravity. Oh, because in time, they, they, they change the winds, the, right? All this bullshit you're going to say in your answers to me. Just because you don't understand it does not make it bullshit. But you have no idea why they're all perfectly round, okay? And if it was as a result of constant motion, um, comets, I've seen pictures of comets and meteors and stuff. They're not round. And some of them shits have been moving around supposedly since the dawn of man, right? They're not round, so it can't be movement or wind that could make them round. What could possibly make something round like that? Ugh, oh, gravity. How many times? Gravity. Hmm. Oh, God, maybe? Oh, no, but you don't believe in God. Sad, really. You know, and other things about evolution that are interesting. The sad part is not a lack of belief in God. The sad part is that you don't understand evolution. That last question had nothing to do with evolution. How come deers keep jumping in front of cars on the highway? Wouldn't they evolve and, and get smarter? Fish, they keep taking the bait off the hook. But wait a minute, isn't evolution where you learn and, and you adapt to your surroundings? Wouldn't? Um, no. That's, that's not what evolution is. Wouldn't fish learn? and get smarter, and like not take the, the worm hanging off the hook, you know? Oh, but here we go again, it takes time, see, evolution is a slow process, it takes millions of years. That is the first correct thing you've said so far. Bravo. You know, like the hammerhead shark, explain that one. How come out of all the sharks in the sea, that one has a hammerhead? Oh, I understand, evolution, you see, at one time, the hammerhead shark looked like all of the sharks, but for millions of years, little fish swam around his eyes, you know? And little by little, the hammerhead's eyes started to bulge, you know, adapting to its surroundings, you know, always keeping an eye on the, on the, keeping an eye on the annoying fish, and eventually it looks like it does today. That's what you think evolution is? You stupid bastards, you don't know nothing. Oh, and I suppose you're a rocket scientist, right? You don't know anything about anything. Just like tornadoes and twisters. Oh, you could predict the weather the weather conditions that create a tornado or a twister. You have no idea what makes that happen. You have no idea. You talk like you do, but you don't. Okay? Weather patterns. I thought this video was about evolution. Can we get back on track? Atheists make me sick, you know? Especially the ones that are like first-generation atheists. Because that means, like when you get on YouTube and you talk to people, like atheists and stuff, and if you're a Christian 
or a Muslim or a Jew, whatever. Like to me, Christian, Muslims, and Jews, we're all better than atheists, okay? At least we believe in something. Okay, here we go. Here's what you really wanted to say. This is this this evolution thing for the video, that's just bullshit that you put there because all you really wanted to do was come out here and talk shit about atheists. I don't know what why you have this fear of atheists. I don't understand the fear that theists have of atheists. I mean, we don't want to take anything away from you. We just want you to leave us the fuck alone. But you folks, man, um, and and nice way to not only propagate a stereotype about theists by what you're doing, but on top of it, generalize all atheists who you don't even know. You don't even understand the fact that atheism is not what defines people. Atheism is just an aspect of people. Okay, but well, what are atheists? How do they treat you on YouTube? Oh, you stupid bastard. You effing morons, you Jesus freaks, you, you, they say retard, horrible words like that. There's some atheists are assholes, and, but yet, I don't see atheists really advocating for the killing of anybody, but I see many, many so-called Christians and Muslims and, and other people of faith in God uh, claiming that atheists should be killed, atheists should be this, they should, atheists should be that, put us in prison. I mean, what the fuck, dude? You know, I mean... Your side has been giving that out for so long, you, what, you can't take it? You're going to have to learn it's a brave new world now, pal. But well, wait a minute, you're a first generation atheist. Are you saying your mother's a stupid retard? Are you saying your grandfather's an asshole? Is that what you think of your own parents and your grandparents and your brothers and sisters? Is that what you think of your family? I don't think you're an asshole because you believe in God. I think you're an asshole because, well, you're willfully ignorant, and you're an asshole. Oh, you only mean the people you're talking to on YouTube. They're effing idiots. They're morons. You hate your own families. You think you're better than your father. You think you're better than your mother. So, Doug, you should really uh, research this stuff. Um, I'll give you a couple links, places to get started with. And, uh, you know, maybe if you spend some time learning about this stuff, you might actually understand it and have a better time trying to actually debate it, other than, you know, go completely off topic and, you know, if if evolution was just an excuse to get out here and try and bash atheists, fine, just be a man about it and bash atheists already, you know, it's, at least be intelligent about it, don't be intellectually dishonest. So, uh, to you, Doug, and to everybody else, peace. Listen